Hello everybody and welcome to a game called Love Sam. Now this is a horror game I saw on Steam. I pr think a really long horror game. It's a point that I think this game's like an hour and a half. I don't know too much about it. All I know is I think we found like someone's diary and we're reading through it. And then like while we read the diary, stuff starts happening in our house. That's all I really know. I want to play it. And also, yeah, just a heads up, I think this game's really long. I think it's like an hour 45, maybe two hours long. So this is probably going to be a really long video. I see. Damn, okay, what was it? Hard on the wall. Real quick, real quick, turn off. I, I could tell there's, there's something going on. Wait, hold on, let me just make sure, make sure everything's fine. We're good, we're good, okay. I hate that it has a little bit of, I feel like it has a little bit of motion blur. Oh, we're just gonna try. Oh, let me check around this place. Here we got my stuff here, check the bathroom. God, it's freaking dark. Where's, bro, where is the light switch? I guess I'm not able to close that door, all right. It's open and now it's forever open. Never mind. Okay, we got like a nice little kitchen. All right. Look at this. Can I check out the closet? All right. Can I? <laughs> Damn, it reminds me of the freaking Papa Combo games where instead of just saying it's locked, they like shake the door aggressively. Like, you don't need to shake it. Though. Okay, let's just go over here. I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm assuming I gotta read this. Oh, yeah, so this is the diary I think we're reading. I'm assuming this isn't gonna be haunted. Also, clean your dishes. Don't leave a dirty dish on your freaking table. Let me see, my dirty little shit could read on to move on. Oh, you actually have to open like a book. I'm assuming this game is a lot of reading. Oh, Jesus Christ. First, there's cans and freaking plates everywhere. The last human on Earth was sitting alone in a room. Can we knock on the door? I prepared for keeping a diary, but now seems to be a good time to start keeping one. Why? I don't know, because after all these years, I just can't forget about what used to be the light of my life. I know, over dramatic much. I don't think Brian Comer, as much as I did, is bound to leave that big chunk of residue. Let's just say this diary is what's left of our relationship. Three years, no, three years have passed, and the world around me is still the same. Well, except for me, I look like a mummified corpse. What would be safe if you saw me again? He left Rosen Peak the moment he graduated high school to go to a fancy college of his dreams. Since then, I can only rely on my memories of him to keep on going. I wonder if that was the same for him, too. Let me just check. How do I get up? Wait, hold on. I just How do I get up? How do I get up? How do I... Okay, right click. I just want to make sure nothing's going on. We're good? Freaking raining? Alright. I just want to know what the button is to get up. <laughs> so if I hear something, I know what I, what I can do. I love someone whose whole existence just gets etched into your brain. So no matter how much B changes, I will always know it's him. Will B do the same for me? I love B, but he's not the most likely person to remember stuff. It's been three years, so possibly did forget about me. Or am I giving him too much little credit? Here comes the big question. Do you remember me? Sucker answer. Ah, uh, probably, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I gotta, like, go find a pencil? Or where do I got a pencil? Do I got a pencil in the fridge? Take care of your dishes. My man left pizza crust in the fridge. Okay, pencil? Pencil? Ah, pencil. There we go. Okay. That was, that was me sitting down. Okay. I'll say, eh, sure. Probably. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's B we're talking about. We didn't have the most perfect relationship. It won't just dump his memory of me down the toilet or something. So much of a nice guy for that. Okay, cute. Let's hope our time together was meaningful enough for him. Enough to make him cherish even the darkest ones. Speaking of cherishable... Okay, this, my voice already seemed to hurt from reading. Speaking of cherishable memories, I wonder what happened to Joe's Diner. It used to be my favorite place. Actually, because it was B's favorite place to begin with. 
there are two things that were too good for Rose and Peak. It would be, it would be Ryan and Joe's Diner, home of the best pancakes in the world. All right, five stars. Things were so much easier back then. People would just go, hey, and I'd be like, hi. Nothing but hanging out after that with some occasional visit to Colton Hill. It's such a good thing going. Remember my voice would say, hate me again? Did time already ruin our moments? <coughs> oh. <coughs> <Bring> hello. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you see what I mean, though? The second the phone showed up, all of a sudden the phone started ringing. I just want to say hello every time I call them. What I want to do and can do are two different things. Just enjoying Beats present on the other side of the phone was satisfying too, in a way, though. So eager to know who was calling him in the middle of the night. And which one? Oh, I saw the window. Oh God. Uh, what was that? Okay. I saw the thing in the window. So I had to, I looked towards the window. What is this? Oh God, what is with the reading? August 21st, 2006. That is a debut outfit. I admire your confidence, Sam. And with that, my whole high school years are probably over. First day of new school, a new girl in town got, got classified as undesirable by what seems to be the queen of Wayward Academy. I spent the last night telling myself, confidence, Sam, confidence. Books I should have spent that time picking better clothes. I try not to care too much about blending in, but these kids already look at me like I'm a candy handled out of strangers. I read that, right? Okay. <laughs> Package seems fine, but you know there's something fishy in there. Starting from their whispers, I could figure out they didn't know way right, even accepted transfers. In less than 24 hours since I moved to Rosen Peak, and I already enjoy sitting alone in my dorm room more than an attempt socializing with people who called me a cute city girl. Well, screw you to the hillbillies. So I decided not to force myself into making friends after how my old friends decided to turn on me. I just hope these guys left leave me alone, at least. Give me a diary. Sure can help things together and I'll take help things together and all the chaos. Or, I haven't kept a diary since kindergarten, but it seems like a good time to restart. Kudos to mom for giving me the advice. Oh shoot, I almost forgot calling her. Write you later, diary, my only true friend. Okay, then. Okay, oh. It's blood stain. Okay, August 15th. Okay. This changed, right? We were, yeah, this is not the same page. Do you remember the moments he came into my mind? Here, I wish I could sneak into people's minds, look beyond their eyes. It's just by staring. If I had that power, I would never stop looking through B's window. Am I B? Is this... Is that me? Is, is that me and someone in my window? We're trying to creep into my house? Do you remember the moment he came into my life? For me, it's as clear as the moment he left. So clear that the downfall of our relationship still cuts deep into my heart. Yeah, life in Rosen Peak was a jar full of bare sweet candies. Not exactly tasteful, but I learned to enjoy it. Nevertheless, it's where my heart lies. Why was the text moving like that? For a poem in B's memory, he used to struggle with Miss Lacey's poetry practices, even if he didn't have to try that hard. Miss Lacey always told us, poetry is not about using fancy words. What's your feelings to all the work? Well, this is how I feel. Standing at his doorstep, heart filled with desire. He rushed down the stairs, heart red like fire. Before his sprint can soar, first he must answer the door. Oh no, no, who's at the door? Hello? <laughs> Amazon? My delivery here? Is my package here? Oh no! Ugh! Ugh! No! I didn't like that. No, not at all. I hated every second of that. Yeah, I did not enjoy that. We got another one of these. August 22nd, 2006. Stacy's a classic. FYI, she's the one who talked crap about my favorite vintage shirt. Like she jumps straight out of a cheesy teen drama. Blonde, hot, always talking, and a cheerleader. She even has a beefy jock for a boyfriend. I don't want to start talking shit about someone already, but how can I resist? Every time I get in Stacy's view, triggering an obvious backbite. I'm seriously starting to think she's under a curve that kills her if she stopped talking about someone else. Sadly, coping with her bitchness wasn't the hardest part of the day. Mom called again, and as far as she knows, there's rainbows and butterflies here at Rosen Peak. I still remember the complicated face she made when I told her that my application was accepted by Wainwright. 
None of us were expecting him to approve a transfer request of an 11th grader. Even she told me she understands my need to move out of the city. I really feel guilty for leaving her alone, even if it's Day's fault, her dad's fault for her family is torn apart like this. You already used up your last runaway chance, Sam. Get your shit together. If not for you, for mom. Okay, nice. Oh, the door. <laughs> the door is open. The door is open. Hey, hi. Can you please get out of my room? <laughs> I don't like it here. I don't want you in here. Ooh, that's weird. <laughs> Make sure nothing's looking at me. Other Wainwright kids were so predictable. The doors were already open even before I put my hand in the knob. But B's door was closed, sh closed shut, and so beautifully painted. Everyone liked him, but couldn't get him to open up. I knew there was something more behind that pretty paint, something behind his bright smile. On the other hand, being able to hang out with him was a good enough blessing for me. Enough to make me want to never leave his side, ever. Oh, why is there a person? Okay, they're getting closer. Getting closer. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lights, 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 lights. Why? Why are the lights not turning on? Why are the lights not turning on? Okay, I like a little lamp. Okay. Oh, no, I can't turn the lights on. Oh, hell no. I hate this already. Okay, August 26th. My first Rosen Peak weekend. The name itself gives away to small town fish perfectly as a setting from mystery horror genre. Lush forest, endless hills, and the lake that I'm certain is hiding a couple of dead bodies. I can pay a visit to the lake one day and take some gorgeous shots. As for now, I'm just going to leave these POI on my to-do list, which is already filled with crazy amounts of homework. I now know why youngsters of Wayne will try their best to get as far away from school as possible after class to escape from choking on the pressure that teachers give them. Even on weekdays, pretty girls like Stacy will have their boyfriends give them a ride, and others make up for the power of public transportation to get to the most crowded parts of town. It does feel too quiet with no one left in school, but at least I don't feel as lonely as I was in San Diego. At least I don't have to watch everyone I know turn their faces away like I'm some kind of a demon spawn. I guess I don't have to be reminded of how fucked up things can be in a single moment. Moving on won't be easy, but as long as I keep myself busy, it won't be that hard. So I wonder how I should spend the afternoon. I'll write you later. I don't know why I'm trying to look around. It's pitch black. What am I going to see back here? I'm, I'm a little curious. What happens if I flip back? Oh, it's them again. All right. He was always pushing his limits. Well, it was more like he was always being pushed, but he was good at it. That's why he naturally became the best quarterback of the team while maintaining a high grade for a star player. He was the best quarterback Winwright could ask for. Seeing him running all sweaty in the field triggered something within me. Weird. <laughs> Ew. Something that made me want to catch him behind his back and never let go. Ew. All sorts of feelings and thoughts were pumped restfully into my brain with every heartbeat. It gave me a bad headache. A good kind of bad headache. I wanted to stop. I wanted to never stop. But as soon as B gave me that hay, all those headaches were washed away. It used to be the best prescription I could ask for. Take away the pain and let only the good things stay. Hmm? What do I grab? Ah! I grab this and bring it back. Hi! Hey, <laughs> I'm just gonna cover you up. Hope you don't care. I don't want good things stay. I got another one of these. August 31st, 2006. For boarding school, Wainwright intellectuals are not that interested in becoming intelligent. I visited the library for Miss Lacey's book assignment today, and two things surprised me. One, the place was much bigger than the one in my old school. Someone could get lost in here. Two, I had a strong feeling that people rarely visit the library, maybe because they feared being lost in there. The place was too clean. Even the book showed little signs of human touch. I wonder if Stacy's even thinking of picking up a book with her, admiring her boyfriend Kyle's tattoo all day. I doubt she has a spare time to do that. She's spending, depending on Kyle to do the reading for her? Seriously? I wonder why I saw so far. He's either busy reacting to whatever is coming out of Stacy's mouth or working up some shenanigans with his jock buddy. Brian, was it? So yeah, right in the meantime, I should be more concerned about myself than the well-being of this whole school. I think we're fine. <laughs> I think everything's okay so far. Open these eyes. No need for words. Sweetest love song. It's those eyes others. Turn around and sing for me. Oh, God. Hi! <laughs> 
Hey! How are you doing? And you really break into my house and then trash my entire kitchen. Ooh, a branch. Cool. <laughs> and you ate all my peas. Really? Break into my house, throw everything on the floor, and then you eat all my pizza. Alright, I got a branch. Can I bring this over here? Look at this cool branch I got. Sick. <laughs> Honestly, I'll take it. I have light now. I, I'm taking more light in this house. Let me look around real quick over here. Is there anything else? A little bit of buddy over there. Do anything in the No, anything Actually, can I look around? Oh, I didn't even realize I can open these. Anything weird in there? Nope. Seems fine. We're good. Everything's okay. Oh, another one. September 4th, 2006. This is the library again. A bit more people than before, and among them was Brian. It's not worth a bother, but seeing a major skink's boyfriend's bud wandering around in the library is uncanny by anyone's standards. He must have been there to pick up, pick the books for Miss Lacey's assignment. Almost got too close for him, trying to see what he was going to pick. I really hope he didn't notice that. I'd rather be known as a regular geek than a creepy one. What was me, I hate to admit, but seeing Brian at the library was today's only diary-worthy event, probably because it's the only human interaction that didn't give me a sensation of someone talking behind my back. At least today's entry is a tad more meaningful than what I wrote yesterday. I need to revise my book options now. I'll write you later. Should I be paying more attention to these? So this is... So... This is Sam, because each one ends with, like, love Sam. Yeah. So this, so whoever Sam is is writing these. So does that mean Sam's also writing the diary we're reading? Or is this, like, a completely different person? I know, I can't tell if these are two completely different people writing these or if it's the same person. I miss him even when I'm with him. I see him even when he's not looking. One day he'll start looking for me, too. I need to realize I was with him the whole time. Oh, cool, the lights are back on. Whoa. What is this? What? That's my closet, right? Okay. I felt like check under the bed. Oh, 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 oh. That's freaking creeped me out somewhat. Oh, can I use the stick? Ooh, take the stick. Get it. paper. Yeah, I got it. Cool. September 7, 2006. It was Mr. Kane's ninth psychological class and he still managed to come up with another lame activity. Sammy gave each of us a mask and made us express our personalities by drawing on it. Again, this was psychology class. The last thing I want to do right now is open up to others, so for the next 30 cringy minutes I managed to create one of the most basic personality masks one can imagine. My mask or a cover letter would start with, I'm a people person. It's not the dumb exercise that's bugging me right now. When the masks were being passed around, Brian, him again, kind of smiled at me. It's 11 p.m. now. Why am I writing about this? Most likely an accidental glance, but I still don't know why the very image hovered in my head for the rest of the class. Okay, the rest of this day, stupid brain prop wants to excuse for screwing up today's math test. I got someone in my bed. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hold on, wait real quick. Places here. Hello, anybody? <laughs> Can I say hi? No. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> cool. I realized I was with him the whole time, like a boogeyman under the sleeping child's bed. That's it. you, the boogeyman. Boogeyman. All right. <laughs> what will B remember me as? A friend? A weirdo? A liar? After all, he didn't really know me. Like really know me. No one did. I had to put on so many masks just to survive high school. The me that B knew was just layers and layers of fabricated image. I can never take them off. I can't let anyone see how vulnerable I was. How I'd been eaten alive. Worse, B would have left me completely. Even when the fragile layers were off, I couldn't take them off. So that. I swear I heard something. I guess I'm just freaking going crazy. Cool. So that's all I did. Cover up the holes for anyone to peek through. Cover them up. Don't let them see my face. Find the lies. Whoa. What am I looking for? 
Why is why do I hear a clock? It's moving. Oh. Cool. The other okay real quick can i turn the light on in here okay i it's right here okay that's why i couldn't find it because the light was off okay don't want them to my face find the lies okay i know where they are i know where they are it goes this thing here. Liar, liar, liar. Whoa, this game this game is good. I'm really freaking on edge right now. September 11, 2006. I was returning some of the books I checked out when he came out of nowhere. Hey, anything worth reading? I know the voice was aimed at me, but my heart was somehow already skipping a beat. Brian had to tap me on the shoulder to get my complete attention. Sam, right? I saw you going in and out of the library. That was buttery voice. I haven't been stalking or anything. I come here from time to time and get the stupid assignment out of the way, so I can't fo so I can focus on my games. He said he couldn't find anything interesting to read, and since all he could think of were comics, he could use some guidance. Mine was still jumbled up from the ambush. All I remember saying is, "How about Misery? Stephen King's works are good enough to get you started." Respect. Stephen King's pretty good. His boys like any story with blood and breaking bones, right? Oh God. I don't recall how the rest of the conversation went, but I'm certain he said, "See you later." At some point, I said, "Yeah, see ya." Misery, real nice Sam. Brian didn't know you were a weirdo, he does now. Hmm. Wow, nice bloody eyes. Great. <laughs> what I did, I did for B, all of them, because I loved them. Why couldn't he just understand? Others were nothing but poison. I was the only one who truly cared. B didn't even appreciate the things I've done for him. I never wanted a drama, I wanted a poem like life. Tender, subtle love story written only for his eyes. It's only fine if no one else gets it as long as B does. Hope he remembers our own little world, even if he forgot about it. I made him a map so he can find his way back. I think it's a good time to come back now, B. Let's go back to our small world where all your favorite places are forever etched in my heart. What? The, what is that? Okay, we. What is that? Okay. Is it the pancake place? There's like a park, we got music, I think that's like a donut, a haircut, okay, go back, oh, September 16th, it's not the lake does have a history of having a dead body in it, it's because I went there, I went there because Brian took me there, what, it happened so fast, I was outside the yard reading when Brian appeared out of nowhere, again, he said hey and started telling me how he actually enjoyed the book and how he even... He never read the same book twice in his life. Since he was heading out, he offered me to give me a tour of the town. Ten minutes later, we were passing Joe's Diner, home of the world-famous pancakes, says Brian. There's also an arcade across the diner. Brian hates this place because it's teeming with ten-year-olds. Donut Shop was Brian's must-go-to place, too, like the music store, which, according to him, seriously needs to restock. I found my own POI, a bookstore. It was weird seeing a bookstore and a gym standing side by side, though. At the end of the tour, I finally got to taste that sweet pancake Brian worshipped. Out the window, I could see the weird, gigantic hill that was also visible from the dorm room. Brian revealed that he had a secret base of some kind there. He jokingly said he could take me there when I'm cool enough. 
After, di after dinner, Brian dropped me off at the bus station and drove off to meet up with his friends. I was exhausted but hyped up beyond my limits. I can't sleep. How can you? How can I when the whole day just feels like a dream? We're fine. Okay. Oh, did I put it? Put. Mark our favorites. Oh. So, oh, uh. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I do not remember. <laughs> Ugh, that was. <laughs> I really. I'm assuming the pancake place? Oh, there's hearts at all their place. Oh, there's another heart over here. Okay, let me. I have to look around for this stuff. They're hard in the bathroom. In the toilet. Behind the door. Nope. Okay, I think. I'm supposed to read this again. Hold on. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so I'm assuming the donut shop too, right? Oh, the third one. What's the third one? Is it the hill? Oh. Okay. I did it. <laughs> Miss Morning do Donut Shop. We never shut up about his donuts. They did taste sweet, just like Bee's heart. She probably was another memory to save her. Just like a donut, it had an expiration date. It turns cold and bitter. This is warm, and this is sweetness. You need it. You need to eat it up. Oh, donut. Cool. And this is warmth. Oh, I got a microwave that? Hey, don't worry. I got a microwave. <laughs> I know you probably shouldn't be microwaving donuts, but hey, I'm gonna do it anyway. Go ahead and for, I don't know, let's do this for like 50 minutes. Sure, do it. Whoa! Whoa. Someone here? I heard a noise. Oh. Hey, that was a heart. That was a hard in there. Oh. A key to open this door? It's all that it seems to be in there. September 25th. The Gomes just obliterated the hammerheads today. I I now know why they say Brian and Kyle are more than buds. I would have called them an awesome duo, too, if only Kyle wasn't an assload of a douche. I mean, this guy has his name tattooed on his arm. Call me old-fashioned, but I think he should go to a hospital and get that ego checked out, because it must be swollen huge. At least he leaves me alone after that, give, after then, other than giving me that creepy stare when I pass by. I understand how Stacy can keep hanging out with him, but Brian? They do say we sometimes become friends with those who are the opposite ends, so maybe it's not such a weird thing. To me, the real win was the photos I took of Brian. Watch, watch out for Sam Holt, the rise teenage stalker. Bringing the Polaroid camera I brought years ago during the camera geek phase seems like a good idea now. I know I promised myself to stay away from people, stay away from the drama, but when I look at Brian when he talks to me, it feels like maybe, just maybe it's okay to have a little drama for myself. I'm not really to, to define what this feeling is, but for now I'm going to label it as something for a shoulder to cry on and just shove it under the bed, just like the picture I took today. Real quick, shove it under the bed. Is something under the bed? No? Okay. Anyways. Hey, every moment I was not with B, I was helpless. Every day I wanted to call him just so we could have a chat, but I was afraid of what Brian would think of it. It could even hurt his reputation. If I worked up the nerve to call, all I could do was listen to him say hello. That was as far as our late night phone call chit chat could go. I hung up wondering if he knew who was on the other end of the line. I remember the strong burning sensation that came every time I called him. That red fiery sensation. Red. Oh. 
Oh, do I? Do I gotta... Like this? I do this. Do I gotta draw? Get you there. Call somebody. Barry's dead. Oh. I don't know what they want me to do. Anything else around here? Fridge, no. Person in my closet, no. Person in my... No. Anything in here? No. Oh, I can't keep it. Okay, I thought I could it's so fucking red. Oh, red everywhere. Sam and Brian, Sam and Brian. Oh. No, I can't. Finish where you started. Oh, now I can't. Right? I have to finish drawing this. So, is this Sam running it? Because it's Sam. Sam's the person running the other thing. Oh, I need to lower the sensitivity. Whoa, whoa! Oh, oh my God! Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of hearts we got. Wow, that's a lot of them. <laughs> that's a lot. Hmm. What was that? That was that. This is, I'm so freaking on edge. I'm not even skating anymore. I did it! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this one's not cool. There's more I gotta do. Of course there's more. Oh, there's another one in here I gotta do. Hey, you open it back up. Okay, so let's go around. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. Why is the window open? Why is the window open? Why is the window open? Oh, who's that outside? Oh, who's that outside? Oh God, close that window. Close it. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, where the hell am I? Where am I? What the hell is this? What is this? Oh, and over here, wow, the nice old trees we got here. There's something over here. A note. Sam, meet me at Colton Hill. You know where to find me, Brian. Whoa, whoa! Oh, I, that, I didn't like that. No, 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 no. No. No, no, I heard someone running towards me. No, ho, ho, ho. No one's in my closet. Okay, cool. No one's in there. No one's in my bed. No one's in my bathroom. No. Okay. Windows closed. All right, we got another thing to read. September 28th. Due date for Miss Lacey's book report is right around the corner, and I'm still not finished. Only if I wasn't too disturbed. Normally, I wouldn't bother reading a teen romance story, but for some reason, I thought, hey, why not? 
The premise for Mingle itself is pretty generic. Jenny has a huge crush on her childhood friend Michael, but she can't get Michael to think of her as more than just friends. She reaches the conclusion that it's because of all those girls around him. So she starts making a list of all the basic girls who have a crush on Michael. What she's planning to do with this list is yet to be revealed. If I can finish reading the book by tomorrow, I'll be able to finish the report with enough time for a revise. P.S. I wonder how Brian is doing with his assignments. Why am I interested? He's been asking for my help with some of his works, and I gladly agree to. Why would I do that? By helping Brian focus on the practice so he can bring trophies to our beloved school. It becomes safe to say I'm taking part of it in a bigger cause. It's not like I'm doing this for a personal reason, right? Oh, I don't like that at all. I, wonder, I want it so bad to be close to Brian, so close I can peek into his beautiful head. So close I can just lean, lean into him and tell him my deepest desires. Okay. Close I can whisper. Don't leave me. Don't go away. Don't smile for others. Don't look away. Don't look away. Don't look away. Whoa! I didn't even scream because I would just <laughs> my my heart just stopped there. I okay. I gotta keep looking. Oh god, it's moving. It's moving my screen. Hey, hey! The person trying to move me. It's, oh my god. Whoa! Bro, th no! No! Leave! <laughs> Can I leave this house? Get me out of here! I'm done! <laughs> I'm done with this! No, I'm not having a good time! Get me- let me go home! Let me get the hell out of here! I don't- I'm not having fun! This isn't okay! Oh! Why do we have to know? October 6th. Stacy invited everyone to the late post par victory party at her place this Friday. Richie told me this at the hallway herself. So an act of courtesy was enough to leave me frozen, but to think of it, a self-conscious beauty queen like Stacy would love showing off how tolerant she could be. I first saw Brian quietly in my room, but since the party is practically being held for Brian, I thought it would be sort of rude of me not to go, not to be there. He's nothing but nice to me since I met him, so the least I could do is show up. Plus, I could probably witness the face Stacy makes if she sees I actually had the nerve to show up. Maybe, just maybe, I could even piss her off if I managed to strike a conversation with Ryan and Omega handing, hanging out with an alpha. I would be busy comforting Stacy, fuming about how I mess up her ecosystem. No peer pressure, Sam. Just clean drinks and hopefully some casual talk with Brian. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, I'm just saying, when you say what could possibly go wrong, that means something is probably about to go wrong. Like staring into closed eyes, I can never know if B knew I was looking at him. Did he even know I was there? Maybe he knew but simply didn't care. The only thing looking back is my decaying sanity. I want to look away so much. What's the point when the stench is still there? I started to think the only way to get B's attention was to throw myself off Cotton Hill. Whoa. Don't do that. <laughs> how did I come so low? I wanted a chance to show how I feel about B without any noise getting in my way. No matter what happens next, it would at least give me some sort of closure and peace. Brian was super likable. Everyone liked everything about him. I couldn't stop smiling when Brian started talking. They made me want to puke. Smile as if the relationship with Brian means anything. And yet I was the only one left with a broken heart when he left Rosen Peak. But he was so determined about leaving that being a star player wasn't enough for him. He needed to be a fucking model student. Nothing says pick me to college admission like a spotless student record. I can't just shake up the world and just leave. Whoa! Hey, stop that. Stop it. Oh, those nails. Oh, God. Oh, I'm... Our character is, like, slowly going crazy. Like, now they're throwing everything around. Top October 7th. Oh man, everything's gone wrong. All my senses are screaming in pain. I don't even remember drinking any booze. Pain only escalated the moment Brian texts me. You feeling okay? I was not okay, and why is Brian asking me this? Did I do something to him? According to Brian, I went from being quiet to crazy happy and cute. His words, not mine. Real quick, I was so close to being the center of the party that he had to bring me back to the dorm. Why can't I remember any of them? Congrats, Sam. You reached a new low in life. Shit, is this it? Is this how I die? I literally asked Brian if there's a good place to kill myself. He said, maybe now's a good time to show you my secret hideout since I passed the test by showing the whole school a different me. Is he actually going to take me to his Colton Hill hideout? 
Come on, I'm going to this so-called most romantic place in Rose and Peak with Ryan. Something in my head that's keeping me awake. It's not hangover. Ooh, we're getting close to finishing this, I am assuming. Yeah, I am not having a fun time. Oh, that was fantastic. Why can't I continue? Oh. Suicide is suspecting the death of a missing teenager. A girl 17 who was found dead at Colton Hill, likely ending her own life, police says. Sam Holt, a transfer student of Wayright Academy, has been reportedly missing for six days until Rosen Peak authorities discovered her body in the forest. Due to days of heavy rain around the time of her death, the investigation on Miss Holt's death faces a few challenges. However, interviews with school faculty members and students led to the possibility that she threw herself off the cliff of Colton Hill through months of rejection from her peers. She was rarely seen with others, says one of their former teachers. She was even publicly mutilated just before her disappearance. Must have worked as a tipping point for her. Wasn't big police says the fall did not kill Sam instantly. It was possible she got her air through her broken neck. Ew! Ugh! Ugh! Why'd you have to say that? Ugh! Their academy now faces suspicion of neglecting its students, led by the mother of Miss Holt. Ugh! Ew! Ew. Ugh. Who is it? <laughs> Hi, who is it? Is delivery? Amazon? My package is here. Oh. What's that? Where's the Whoa! Why am I here? Why am I here? No. Oh, is this... Oh, uh, so did she actually kill herself? No, why? Why do the Hi. Wait, is that her? Hey, Sam, hey, Sam, you don't have to do this. Hey, Sam, you don't, don't, don't gotta do this. Come on. Come on. Sam? Who was that? Whoa! Oh my god. Okay, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. <laughs> I just have to check every time. Oh, was that Sam behind me? What was that? Yeah. I didn't like it. Oh god, what is that? October 8th. Oh my god, Brian actually took me to Colton Hill. The hideout Brian mentioned has a wonderful view of the small town. The whole place under the golden sunlight. The best part of the spot was that it's quite hidden and unsafe. You easily roll down the hill if you're careless or drunk, and no one could find you for days. How awesome is that? Being drunk with that wonderful moment didn't cause any accident, though. I sat there for less than an hour, but it felt like an eternity. I can't remember what we talked about. I do remember saying how beautiful Rosen Peak is, and Brian being all meh about it. I guess we can get fed up with views like this, too. Today's only regret is that I failed to bring the true essence of the hill's view back with me. There's a reason why I gave up photography as a hobby in the first place. At least the close-up shot of Brian was not half as bad. When I came back down from the hill, it became clear that my life just became a bit more messed up now. I knew because I really wanted to talk to Brian again soon. Help me get to sleep quickly today, diary. Uh. You. Brian's secret hideout, a closed Colton Hill hiking route discovered by myself. But you can hide from the world around him. Not a flashy place, but has a great view. All the life problems. Colton. All right. I wish it could be our special place. Ours and ours only. Colton Hill is nothing but a rock pile of blood-soaked memories now. Why do we have to? Why do you have to break my fucking heart? It's just one of his many friends. Maybe that's it. That's why he wanted to leave. Even after I told him we wouldn't be together anymore. I thought he was too good for Rosen Peak. Me. Him hey, mouse is a background in this picture. Uh uh Where's that coming from? Bathroom? You don't deserve a face. Oh. Book report is strange to go to the can't stop about mingle. Most of the stupid brain thinks I'm sort of like the main care. No, 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 Hi! Oh. Oh, 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 no. Oh. 
Oh, hey, hey, buddy, hi. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Oh, got the camera. Oh no, 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 oh god, this is the worst. This game is the worst. Okay, hold on. Let me place that there. Let me read this again. I didn't get to read it. Book report finally finished today, but I can't stop thinking about Mingle. Most most because of my super brain thinks it's sort of like the main character, Jenny. So the rest of the book. Jenny goes out in a jealousy filled sabotage rampage, and every girl has a crush on Michael. Well, that sounds horrible without context, but I'm actually it's actually kinda cute. Finally stands on top, Michael finds out what she's done. He breaks Jenny's heart, saying he can't be sure of who she is anymore. Things work out in the things work out in the end, that's not why I sympathize with the dorky psycho girl. Brian is just like Michael. Popular has killer biceps, busy hanging out with people. I can't see what he wants because of all the noise around him. No, he wants to go to college. What about beyond the boring stuff? What kind of person does he like? What does he think about me? He told me about his mom, how she died of cancer last year. It would have been so hard trying to look okay in front of everyone who's depending on him. Sometimes it feels like he can't see me because he's so busy trying to meet everyone's expectations. I know how those around us can be hurtful and it's dangerous to rely on them so much. I just wish I could tell Brian one day that I'm here for him. Yeah, this is... Absolutely the worst. Maybe that's it. I just wanted to... Before, okay, maybe that's why I wanted to leave him before I took it. Tell us, okay, I read this already. Brian got what he wanted in the end. He left Rosen Peak as soon as he was given the chance. As for me, I was left to suffocate in the hole of tainted memories until I drowned in my own endless nightmare. Oh my god. Every, every day, every night, I'm surrounded by whispers. Whispers that lie. Whispers that eat away my brain piece by piece, no matter how hard I try to. Oh god, I hear them again. Hi. Are you in a healthy relationship? Take this quick survey to find out. Wow, you caught me at the perfect time. Sure. One must take as much as one... One must take as much as one gives. No. Possession is a stronger form of love. No. No one can have what you... No one can have what you can... That's also a no. Be never... Oh. I don't know this person. I'll say... Oh, they're both no. I guess I'll go with no. Because you are a selfish little shit. No, I don't think so. All your problems are caused by you. No, I don't, don't think so. It's all your fault. No, I don't, don't think so. Oh, hey. Oh, ho, 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 ho. So are in. It looks like he's still <laughs> have your eyes closed. Whoa. Looks like your eyes closed shut. Okay. Keep them shut. Oh, you last this time. Hello? Who is it? Keep going. Cool. Another paper. October 13th. Miss Lacey gives an easy poetry assignment for once. She said it's okay to make a parody of the classics as long as we stick to the ABCB rhythm. We took the liberty of letting my imagination go. ABCBERSERK. There's a slight, a slight taste in my early work. Words are red, violets are blue. My life would be, have sucked if it wasn't for you. I mean, Shakespeare. Wait, is it Old Spear? Sam Spear? I could have waited for Brian to ask for my help with homework again, but I decided to make the first move this time. And guess what? He said he can handle it alone. I can be paranoid, but I'm worried I might have hurt Brian's pride. So what happens when Sam opens her idiot mouth or uses her idiot brain? P.S. I decided to carry my diary in my bag. The doors in the girls' dorms are way too easy to open. Not as easy as Stacy, though, if you know what I mean. I even saw one of the girls using a notepad to crack her door open. Besides, I have this weird hunch someone's been reading my diary. I decided to not ignore this hunch. Let's continue. It's getting worse. The fucking shithole town left a disgusting crack in my heart. And it's getting bigger and bigger. The voices I hear from the cracks are getting louder. I see more and more eyes staring at me through that gap. When I ran out of places to run, I had only one solution. Now my memories are scattered all over the dark. I must look for them in the dark. Oh, God. 
Oh, I have to use the camera. I hate this game. Oh. <laughs> okay. Life endless search. See no one over here, I think. Here? <laughs> Hi! <laughs> okay. Be so warm. I am I blind? Free. Actually, you want me to open these right now? I need light. Let me get to see for all the itself. Okay, let me check the ceiling. Is it somewhere on the ceiling? I'm just not seeing. So let's go over here. Bathroom? Okay, cool. What are we feeling? Oh, okay, I have to put these in a certain order. Alright. Okay, well, I think this order is... Oh, it's supposed to be a poem? Like, I cherish your smile, I admire your gaze. Keep me so warm like endless sun rays. Hey, I did it! Cool. October 20th, with Brian preparing for a rematch with the Hammerheads, it once again gladly gave him a hand with the non-important homework stuff. I must say, the teachers here don't give the report students a break just because the test is over. It's not like I'm burdened, burdened, burdened with helping out. Brian is really trying hard to get good grades. From what I heard, he doesn't have much to worry about going to college since he's practically a local football star. Maybe his pushy police chief dad raised him to be an overachiever. It's funny how a model athlete like Brian got friends like Kyle who always finds excuses to pull him out of school. It's unfair, really. As long as you are a sports star, you'll end up with douches like him, no matter how nice, you are, nice of a person you are. I don't speak like Kyle much, but I don't need conversation to know what he's like. First of all, his girlfriend is freaking Stacy Lannings. The stare he gives me when I pass by is enough to creep me out for the whole day. I would be lucky if Stacy didn't come along and start yapping about how Brian is out of my league. She has Kyle to play with, so why would she even care? Like, as ask your boyfriend out for a drive. Jeez, have a nice life with him so Brian can stay away of, of the poison he does not deserve. Okay, whoa. Let me take the camera this way. Who is it? Hello? Who is it? Oh! <laughs> no! No! Not for the camera! Hi oh! Okay, okay I'm calling the phone. Cool. Hey, who is it? Hi, how's it going? <laughs> hey, how's it going? Wow, great talk. Yeah, wow. Great. Great talk. Yep, can we please end this? Put the phone down. Great talk we had. Oh, cool. Can't continue. What do you want now? Can you please help me? Oh my god, stop calling me. <laughs> What do you want? Okay, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. 
The music's still going. This is. Oh, my bathroom looks a little different than before. I don't remember it being like this. <laughs> I don't remember my bathroom being like this. Oh, it's oh, it's a school bathroom. Ew. <laughs> Ugh. No reflection. Well, that's just great. Greenheart College, discover your potential with our early admission program. We're waiting for anyone who is ready to take the next step. Apply now. Cool. I need to take a piss. Now I can pick up a camera. <laughs> Fuck are you smiling at? I don't know. Oh, the roof is gonna go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, 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 <laughs> hey there, hi. <laughs> what does the game want me to do? What does the game want me to do? Hold on. Oh, am I supposed to run? Well, maybe maybe I can run away. Maybe I can run away. <laughs> No, the door's blocked. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> what? Oh. Don't put C out. This is for B. Careful. Press it. Do it. Oh! Oh, this is weird. They're like creeping on them. Oh, they're taking. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't. This is weird. Oh, what is this? Okay, bye. I guess I'll see you later. Cool. Yeah, I'm just never gonna come back from here. Cool. Yeah, let me just. Oh, come on. Oh. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why am I going so fast? Whoa. Oh, is that her falling? Oh, that was her falling off the cliff. Oh, that was her falling off the cliff. Whoa, what's happening here? It's getting freaking... Freaking really dirty. Yeah, I hated every second of that. Cool. Got it. What does this say? October 23rd, there was a con consult... Con there was a consulting session from Greenheart College student programs at the gym today. I've seen its posters all over the school since the day I arrived. I had nothing better to do, so I decided to give a visit and spend my precious after school time reading brochures. And once again, just like at the library, I was surprised to see Brian there. He was at the early decision program booth. I wanted to talk to him, but instead I ran from my room, jumped to my bed, and out of nowhere, tears started to drop. That was because of those stupid hearts. Yeah, I saw those hearts again. Now they're on the gym walls, too. At first, I thought whoever drew them must be very insecure about the relationship. The truth is that I wish I had a relationship to be insecure about, too. Deep down, I know it was my own heart on the walls, too. But seeing Brian in the college booth felt like finally getting punched by reality. I have no idea what I'll be doing in a couple of years. I thought of staying here at Rose and Pete, but with Brian preparing to leave, there's no point to it. Oh, Brian, no, no hearts on the wall. God, it's like my brain's creating a storm and it's gonna fly down for a bit if I wake up next week. Oh, this is, what is going on? Like, it's, it's getting like really cold. Ugh. Wake up without waking up. Some, same rainy night, my lifeless room, endless nightmare. Life is nothing but a repetition of waking up with nothing to live for. Not even a false hope to look forward to this time. Long time ago, when I finally got to accept my feelings for Brian, I thought everything was going to change. Everything, every day was just still, just like every day. It's like a school star, I was still just his friend. 
live in Rose and Peak, people expect things to stay the same. If anything changed between us, it could ruin V and everything around him. That's how it went. Nothing changed when my whole world burned. I kept telling myself, maybe after graduation I'll be able to express my feelings for him. Let the fire in my heart eat through my soul and body. I called myself a coward. But I choose to keep what little I had to enjoy. I was a poor kid crawled up in bed. Poor? Do I really deserve that charity title? I'm really the victim of all of this? Who is here to judge me anyway? It's all over. Everyone left me. So why do I feel like I'm being chased? Like someone's always watching me. Like someone's always trying to judge me. Oh, Stacy. How did an invite go? Is she in or not? Oh, she's coming. Dorks like her can't say no to parties like this. So we time to give her the drama she wants so bad. Oh, are we playing as Kyle? Is this is that who we're playing as? Because that was definitely like Stacy and Kyle talking to each other. Ugh, where are the freaking? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, maybe we are playing as Kyle, and maybe like the th person I keep seeing here is like Sam's ghost haunting me or something. Oh, another one of these. November 2nd. Now I used half of this diary writing about Stacy being a bitch, but now she's just unstable. It wasn't even past the first class when I saw her arguing with crazy like Kyle. Her shouting something like, I'm done doing shit for you before storming away. Then she saw me. I was her next target. She strode towards me and said, It was all your fault. Why don't we go back to fucking San Diego? Well, what did I do? She was off before I could even open my mouth. I turned to Kyle for answers, but he was gone too. Come to think of it, I really saw them hanging out recently, but I didn't know things were this intense. Brian's been acting weird too, though. He hasn't talked to me much. Recently, he even looks someone more upset than usual. I finally tried to ask him what was wrong, but he cut me short asking if I called him late ag night again. All I could give was a blank face until Brian said never mind and walked away. What was that about? What did he mean by again? Calling him in the middle of the night for no reason is something I've dreamed of, but it doesn't mean I actually did that. What the hell is going on? Okay, yeah, that stuff's starting to get weird. It's because of her. The moment she came into our lives, what little I had to and started to crumble. Only bad changes happened in my life, no matter how hard I tried to protect it. The cute girl just asked to become an outsider. That was all she was to me. Hell, that was all she was to everyone else. And I saw them talking it. Oh, this is Kyle! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait, this is Kyle writing this! Oh yeah, because he's talking about Sam! Oh, this is starting to make sense. Ooh, this is starting to make sense. This is Kyle's life. This is Sam. These pages we're picking up are Sam's diary. This is Kyle's diary. We're reading Kyle's. Oh. Why are there syringes? This is starting to make sense. Kind of. And that makes more sense why Kyle and Stacey are fighting. Oh, see, so this whole time the game makes you think that this is Sam's diary. Like, oh, Sam's writing about Brian. But this is secretly Kyle having, like, wanting to have a gay relationship with Brian. That's what this is. Oh. This is all coming together. <laughs> it's starting to all come together. It's starting to make sense. I couldn't see clearly, but I could tell what was going on. He was making her smile. It was another smile, telling me my feelings for B. I would never know what kind of emotions I was hit with at that moment. Change was happening, and I didn't like it at all. Stacy didn't like it either, and she could never stand letting like, an easy social prey slip away from her. That's why Stacy took a peek into her diary one day. She took pictures of some of the entries and sent them to me and her gang. She wanted everyone to join her twisted and childish game. The diary had no special meaning to me, not until I read about how Brian took that cunt on a fucking tour of the town. He had no interest in girls whatsoever, and suddenly now he's hanging out with an outsider? At that moment, I got tired of doing nothing. I know I had to do something, so I gave Stacy an idea. It's going to be easy. Easy spike or drink. Easy spike or drink, get her wasted and humiliate the shit out of the city girl in front of everyone. Only she would, would know her place. It could have been so simple, only a beat in game away. Oh, they spiked her drink! That's why she was so weird at the party! Bummer, I was hoping to do nasty stuff to you. Ew! Ugh! I'm getting freaking weird chills. Ugh. <laughs> so I can't believe Brian had to get in her way like that. Well, bitches like Sam don't does bitches like Sam does tend to make some people feel sorry. She didn't mention something about her dad in the diary, but she has some nasty daddy issues too. Uh, why are you talking about that? 
I know, how about we show everyone how needy a bitch can be? <laughs> Sounds fun, but how? Leave it to me, just keep reading your diary once in a while. Well... Okay, we're in school. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I'm late to class, gotta go. <laughs> uh, is this like... Uh, I hate the freaking clock. Okay, there's Brian. Oh, we're playing as Kyle. This is Brian and Sam talking. Okay. That's another time where my freaking heart just stopped. I could not say anything. Hi? No, 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 no. Hey! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, okay, let's read this now. <laughs> wow, okay, let's read this cool note. What the fuck is going- I don't even know how to describe what happened this morning. This is fucked up, my hands are shaking again. It started when I opened my locker and something poured out. For a few seconds, my brain was cut off from whatever was happening. Finally, I finally looked down, there were dozens of pictures scattered on the hallway floor. All of them were pictures of Brian with gibberish written on them. The whole school was at the hall. They looked at the pictures and at me and at the pictures. Brian was there too, the face he gave me. The face of disgust. I turned away and left. He didn't even say anything. I tried to chase him, say something, anything to him. The floor started spinning and people started whispering like they knew what was going on. The air soon began to choke my throat. I swept up what was at on the floor and ran off to class. Of course, Stacy must have something to do with this. I looked for her, but she was nowhere to be found. The rest of the day was nothing but avoiding eye contact with anyone. I can't sleep. Brian's not answering any of my texts. There's no one to talk to. Oh, this is just... I hate this. I hate this so much. I don't like that I'm on the side of the bad people. I don't like that. I keep saying nothing was going on between them. I wasn't about to believe everything was just fine. In my eyes, Sam was using Brian to fill her sad, empty life. I couldn't let that happen. She wanted drama. She didn't deserve. She deserves shit. She doesn't get to barge into any barge in and start stealing the life I've only dreamed of. Stacy kept doing what she does best, digging into other secrets. She sent pictures of the little shit's diary pages to me, so I found out about their little trip to Colton Hill. It was our hideout since first year of high school, and her presence turned it into fucking nothing. How could B do this to us? The only way to break them apart was to show Brian what a creep she was. Oh, I saw that. I kept reading the disgusting words she wrote in her diary. At the same time, I felt something. A reminder of how I felt when I fell for B. I felt so right and terribly wrong. I threw me into my pill and never helped with making the feelings go away. Did you find the diary yet? Babe, I think you're taking this too seriously. Did you find it? Whoa! Now even Stacy is like, hold on, we're doing too much here. Did you find it or not? I think she knows I'm sneaking into her room. I can't find it anywhere. Babe, don't you think you're too obsessed with breaking them up? You're bailing me now? Forget it. Maybe Brian doesn't even like the girl. I said forget it. So tired, so tired, so tired, so tired. Yeah, let's just close that. Let's just... Yeah, let's just close that for this. Yeah, this is weird. Yeah, like, even Stacy is like, Whoa, you're going too far. November 7th. Hey, cool, my birthday. <laughs> School counselor called me today. My Mr. Ferns asked me if the rumors were true. Rumors I've been leaving hearts drawing all over school. Rumors I've been stalking Brian. At this point, the whole school must be out of its mind. Oh, oh, this is, yeah, back at Sam. I didn't even know the letters in the fucking heart spelled S and B. What, just because the initials are S and B, so everyone name that starts with them are either Sam or Brian? And I guess there are even crazier words around the street. Sam Hold the daughter of a sex offender craves forbidden love. How long did Stacy find out about Dad? Who, why would she do so much to fuck up my life? Where the fuck is she? Is she... You know what? I'm tired. I'm tired of waiting for Brian to listen to me. I'm tired of for looking for words to describe this fucked up situation. I can't believe I have to go through this again so far from home and so soon. Brian, please, please say something. We got all of her. We got all of... Oh, wait. We got all of her letters from her diaries. That means... Oh, no. Please tell me nothing. Oh, don't tell me she's going to kill herself. <laughs> I remembered she wrote something about her dad. Because that's something to do with her existence in my life. I started digging. It wasn't even a challenge. Keith Holt, arrested for sexu sexually assaulting a teenager. It was beautiful. On the perfect ending. All I had to do next was fill in the rest of the story. 
Sam Holt calls Brian from a payphone in the middle of the night and suddenly listens to his voice. How does Sam's dad even get married? He likes little girls, doesn't he? Maybe Sam's mom needs to be the pervert's victim? Sam Holt takes Brian's picture and keeps them hidden in the locker. Sam's girl's got some balls. Everyone's talking about her pervy dad and she's still showing up to class. Respect. Sam Holt draws hearts all over the school to let others know Brian is hers. Oh my god, how could Sam Holt not kill herself if my dad went on the news for touching teens? That's bye-bye world for me. Uh, this is so freaking messed up. A needy city girl with a huge hole to fill. A hole left by her sweet old daddy. She was just a disaster waiting to happen. No one, even Brian, would think otherwise. I made all the preparations while Stacy spread the rumors I created. It wasn't easy. I almost got caught taking a picture of Brian using the restroom. I kept going. Every picture I took was a love confession I could never make. Every heart I drew was my sacrifice for him. I'm not liking that. Enough suspicion pile up on Sam, I stuffed all the pictures I took into her locker. It was a happy confidence that B was there to see the spectacular unfold when it happened. It was over. Things were about to turn back to normal. And then Stacy's drama filled head exploded. Whoa! Hide, coward! Oh my god! I want you to get away with the shit you've done to me. Did you really think I wouldn't find out what's going on? I know you've been using me to break Sam and Brian apart so you can have some fun with her. Well, I had my share of fun when I told Brian what you've been doing. You should have seen the face he made when I got to the part about you drawing those retarded hearts over the school. You enjoy your happy life now that there's no Brian to get in your way. Oh, by the way, I saw you staring at that college poster. What, did you like the girl in the poster too? Is it why you tore her face off? You need help. Don't bother calling me, Stacy. Oh! Ooh, even Stacy is done. Even Stacy's done with him. Ooh, this is good. I'm starting to like this because now Kyle's not looking too good. I'm still so confused. Am I playing as Kyle or am I playing as Brian? Or am I playing as Stacy? <laughs> Who am I playing as? I'm assuming I'm playing as Kyle because that could be why I'm getting haunted this much. Okay, cool. Anyways. Oh. Please, man. Stacy's got it all wrong. Just misunderstand. Oh, this is text to Brian. It's a meaningless prank, that's all. Please, B, don't do this. Text me back, please. Hey, Stacy told Brian it was the last day he talked to me. He was so angry at me. He would never understand what I did for him. Typical. So fucking typical. Again, I was left alone to suffer. This time someone had to pay for it. Had to pay for it. Oh my god, he pushed. Oh my god, he pushed Sam over off the cliff. Sam didn't kill herself. Kyle put. Oh, God. Oh, no. See, Sam didn't kill herself. Kyle killed Sam by pushing her off the cliff. Need me a oh, he wrote. Uh, I hate this game so much. Kyle wrote that letter. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, uh, he wrote this letter. Oh, no. No, 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 no. no. Whoa. Slip it in there. Wow. Okay, yeah, so we are playing as Kyle. Okay, I guess I'm going in. Okay. Whoa. 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 Hey, hey, hey. No, 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 no. Whoa, hey. What's oh, Sam? Oh yeah, Sam saw it. He's like, oh yeah, I get to meet Brian and talk to him by the hill. And instead, Kyle just freaking threw her off the cliff. Oh, okay, yeah, we're playing as Kyle. Here we go. <laughs> if I'm correct, I think I know what's about to happen. Okay, let's see. Yep, there's Sam. And I'm Kyle. I'm... Oh my god, and before, remember when we were Sam? Before when we walked over, picked up the stick, and heard someone running behind us, we were playing as Sam, and that was Kyle, like, running at us to push us off the cliff. 
Oh god, Sam, I'm sorry. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. We're waiting for someone. Kyle, what are you doing here? You can't stay away from him, can you? You don't deserve him. I don't know what you're talking about. Our lives are ruined because of you. Hey, don't come any. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh, that, oh, that's terrible. No, that gave me freaking chills. Oh, oh, that was the worst. That was the worst. Okay, what are we doing here? Okay, okay the note. I'm gonna set it on fire. Sam's property. That's all her. That's her diary. Yeah, that, that's the notes that we received. Wait, are you telling? Wait, Brian, please. Does are we telling me we ripped the pages out so that no one can see them? Oh no, we're just burning it. Oh, that's why the pages are like a little burnt as well. Like they're not clean. I never meant to kill her. Maybe I did. Did I? No, it doesn't matter now. Any of what I did matter? I left the team so soon after what happened to Col at Colton. After that, the school. When I've heard, Brian easily got accepted to the college. He left town right after graduation. In fact, he's a star athlete with a notable school record worked like a charm. He's been growing, growing the idea of leaving Rosen Peak since his mom died. Living alone with his obnoxious dad didn't help much with being attached to his hometown. He kept his plan mostly a secret. He hated the attention he was getting as a star who lost his mom. People found out his plan. They will surely be talking about it too. But he did hint about leaving, and I tried so hard to ignore what it meant for me. Even those college posters all over the school were laughing at me. They were making fun of my impending doom. They were all saying, Haha, see, you're going to die alone here. Maybe I knew. I knew that B took an interest in Sam because she was just a clueless new girl who was lonely enough to do anything for any guy who was nice to her. But jealousy is a strong creature. It quickly devoured my mind. Soon, anger took over, took control of me. I just needed someone to be mad at other than Brian. Even after he left me, anger stayed. It still haunts me to, in my sleep. Every time I open my eyes, this gets worse. In the end, it's time to wake up. But well, wake up for what? I greeted by the fact that I must start running around in circles again. I must stick needles into my body so I can forget my path for a few fucking minutes. It's like that story Miss Lacey once told us about. The shortest horror story in the world. Last man on earth heard a knock on the door. I'm alone in my room. I'm alone in this world. There's someone knocking on the door. I don't know who it is, but I keep the door locked. No one comes in. No one goes out. I'm so tired. I just want it to end. Just wake up. Just open the door. I don't care who or what's waiting for me. What about my diary, the one I've been keeping to remind myself how I am the victim of everything that's happened? I don't know what I would do without it. What would keep me from going insane? Here comes the big question. Should I keep it? Ooh, what should I do? You know what? I want him... I'm, I am I kind of want him to get in trouble. I'm not happy with freaking Kyle. He got someone killed. I'm going to say no, hoping that he gets rid of it. I want him to turn it in. It's time to admit it. I've been keeping a memory of lies. I'm the only one to blame for the shit I had to deal with. It's all the time I've burned it. But what after that? Open the door out, out of there. Face whoever's waiting for me. I could just stay here in the fire and let it go. If I have the choice, it's time to light the fire.
does it want me to do? Wait, yeah, like, what am I actually supposed to do? I don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do? Oh. I actually have to burn it? Whoa! Okay, yep, that's a freaking house fire. burning down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, bro, you gotta answer that door. You gotta answer that door. It's daytime. be daytime. That's of Sam Holt initially reported that suicide was shed in new light by her former classmate. Kyle Jenkins confessed he was with Miss Holt when she fell to her death on Colton Hill in 2006. According to the shocking revelation, a 14-year-old transfer student from San Diego was involved in a heated con confrontation with Mr. Jenkins due to That's it? Wow, that's actually it? Oh, okay. Well, that was, this is easily probably one of the best horror games I've played in a very long time. This was so good. This was really good. Also, is there multiple endings? Hold on, real quick. I want to see, if I hit continue, will it bring me back to where I was? Because what, what happens if I say yes? I want to see if there's like another ending. I'm just a little curious. I want to see where it leaves me back at. Oh yeah, it brought me back here. Okay, should I keep it? What happens if we say yes? <laughs> what happens then? Fuck it, I'm not giving up the only thing that's left for me. Nothing's my fault. I'm not letting go of anything ever again. Let's turn off the lights, go to bed. Maybe everything will be better tomorrow. All right, turn on the lights. Go, go to, go, oh, go to bed. <laughs> All right, wow, beautiful morning. Everything's great. What a great morning we got. What a beautiful day it is. <laughs> wow. Nice sunlight. Book's gone. Look at the nice light we have here. Oh, it feels great. You know, I totally didn't murder that one woman by pushing her off some cliff. Totally wasn't me. No. Okay, whoa. Okay, what was that? Oh. Oh no, hey, Sam. Okay, wow, that was such a great ending. <laughs> so I guess that was both the endings you could really... I'm assuming those are the only two endings in this game. And once again, this is easily one of the best horror games I've played in a very long time. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. Remember, if you've been enjoying my videos lately, make sure you leave a like down below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. I'm trying to hit 900 subscribers as soon as possible. You can, can, it's completely free. You can unsubscribe anytime. As always, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and as always, I will see you guys in the next episode.